Hey everybody, welcome to Code on the Go. So what are the seven most popular programming languages on GitHub in 2019? Let us read. Now, there are many of these lists and this is just one place that you could look to in terms of determining what the market is about in terms of programming languages. But nonetheless, uh, GitHub is super important. Let me just read this article from fossmint.com, some Linux-based site I've never heard of, but nonetheless. Uh, GitHub is the most popular platform for code management and, seer and sharing. It is the home to software code worked on by a total of more than 31 million users from all over the world working in as many as 337 programming languages. You ever wonder, you know, how many programming languages there are? 337 programming languages. In all honesty, that number surprised me. I thought there might be 150. Anyhow, looking at how much GitHub has grown over time, I can boldly say that GitHub is here for the long haul. Yes, Microsoft purchased it for $7.5 billion in 2018, but that doesn't seem to matter despite the stories of many developers abandoning the platform after a purchase. Yeah, well, most people are going to stay on it. Uh, all right, let's, so let's get into the data. All right, the most popular language on GitHub. Take a guess. JavaScript. JavaScript is a high-level interpreter programming language initially designed for creating interactive effects in browsers. Well, no, that's kind of false, actually. It's, it's designed to uh, provide scripting for browsers. And the first things we did was not interactive effects. I know, because I was there when it first came out. It was there to do things like form validation and so forth. Uh, interactive effects came later, I would argue. But anyhow... The most popular language right now on GitHub is JavaScript, which I teach, of course, because it's so important. The second most popular language, Java. Uh, yep, yep, yep. It's uh, Java and JavaScript have nothing to do with, with each other, except they were created around the same time by different companies. JavaScript for Netscape, for browser scripting. Java by Sun Microsystems, which was a general purpose language that eventually became the king of server-side programming. Python. Python is the number three language in the world. Python is the number three language. And um, Python is used mostly for AI and server automation. You can think of Python as the glue that uh, keeps systems working. And it's actually been used to develop games, which surprises me. Uh, Civilization 2, uh, 4, Toontown. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is used. It's used a lot in... Um, in uh, software to automate processes. So I think 3D Studio Max is one. Um, there's others as well where they use Python to scripting to control and automate software rendering processes and so on. Python is one of those general purpose languages. I'm going to have another video right after this on Python and Netflix. Anyhow, the number four most popular language in the world, another language that I teach. I teach Java. I teach, I teach JavaScript. I teach Python, and this fourth most popular language on GitHub. And you know what? When I was arguing that this was going to be a super important language going forward, a lot of Ruby people, which is not on this list, were like attacking me for that. And um, yeah, so anyway, the fourth most popular language in the world, PHP. Yep. In this article, they write, PHP has been ridiculed for a few things over the years, including the diversity in code quality between PHP developers and its security. The good thing, however, is that PHP developers offer a lot of frameworks, a lot of which are free and open source, which help users handle difficult issues that they would have otherwise faced down the development lane, as well as quicken the development process by smart bootstrapping. And yeah, this is kind of a high-level article. Yeah. Old PHP had security problems. Old PHP, I'm talking over 10 years old, had a lot of developers who are not really developers. But that's one of the reasons why PHP became so popular is because it's very, very approachable. It's very easy to get up and running. To get somebody up and running in PHP takes 
a fraction of time to get somebody up and running in Java, C Sharp, Python, Ruby, in terms of the web apps. And that's all that PHP does. And PHP is the top web application development programming language in the world. Nothing comes close. It's number one. More, I think more than 80% of sites use PHP in some form or another, if not more. So anyway, there you go. So the fifth most popular language on GitHub is C++. C++, it's... You know, it's an old language, but it's the uh, it's the engine language, if you will. And then number six is C Sharp, which is basically Microsoft's copy of Java. Number seven is TypeScript, open source programming language created and maintained by Microsoft as a strict syntactical superset of JavaScript for developing large applications. Uh, it features optional static typing and transcompiles to JavaScript. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's just a way to uh, to be able to de deploy JavaScript for high performance project needs. TypeScript, I'm sure it's got some very good things about it, but it's one of those need to nerd languages. So of the top uh, seven languages, I teach three of them, I think, yeah. So JavaScript is number one, Java number two, Python number three, PHP number four, C++, C Sharp, and TypeScript. Here's the thing. JavaScript, Java, C++, C Sharp, and TypeScript look very similar in many respects. So if you know one of those, of those languages, the rest is very easy. Now, a little bit more different is PHP. But still, if you learn JavaScript, for you to learn PHP is like that, or vice versa. And I think the one that's most different, it would probably be Python. Although Python is so, one of the reasons it's so popular because it's just so easy to learn and read as well because it doesn't have all these crazy funny symbols. Anyway, there you go. I hope you found this useful for this code on the go vlog.